Yo, what up, my Shadow Armies? It is I, Shadow Critios, back again with another Ruby versus matchup video. So, yes, today I give you guys a really interesting matchup that I want to talk about, give my thoughts, my opinion about who I believe I should win. And the reason why I'm doing it is because, well, the image, the video footage that you're seeing right now is, well, a fan animation that is Pierre Nikos versus Adam Torres. And it ended with a cliffhanger saying, who win, you decide. So I decided to make my respond video as a versus matchup debate to give my thoughts and my opinion about who I believe who actually would win between these characters. And that is Pierre Nikos versus Adam Torres. Before I get to you on, this is just my personal opinion about who I believe who actually would win. If you believe one of these characters who actually would win, let me know in the comment section down below. Give me a good reason why. And I'll have the link of the original video down below. So you can go watch the original video for yourself. Full screen. When I'm my commentary, go support the official release. And... So, yeah, I when I first came across that animation, I always wonder, and it came to my attention that I wonder who I should win the fight between these two characters, because it seems very interesting to add Adam versus Raven, you know what I mean? And I did have a, another interesting matchup for Pyrrha, because I know I did for one for Weiss, then, uh, yeah, Weiss, and now uh, um, t Adam... So I'm there's one matchup that I might do, which is, um, which I'm not gonna tell you who. Just you just have to wait until if I feel I want to do it or not. So enough of me getting off topic. So without other way, let's just go ahead and get into the uh, the combatants. Pyrrha Nikos, powers and abilities, weapon. Pyrrha was able to throw the javelin form of Milo with extreme precision, being able to hit John's hood over a long distance as he was falling. It was at this point when she first demonstrates proficiency in javelin usage, as she was shown to have a perfect stance, with the javelin lining up exactly with her free hand and using her thumb as a reference point. She was also extremely adept at using a koo as an offensive weapon, a skill that was exemplified when she used her shield to sever the damaged joint of the Death Stalker's stinger, with the shield ricocheting off of a pillar behind it and returning to her. However, this feat was likely aided by her semblance. However, during her battle with Cinder, she was able to throw her shield with enough accuracy to strike and shatter an arrow midair without her semblance, as her aura had already been depleted. Pyrrha also demonstrated incredible skill in switching her back and forth between weapons with quick succession, delivering rapid attacks, and being able to counter others at once, such as with Team CRDL, whom she all defeated alone, despite being outnumbered. Pyrrha was capable of using her weapon's bladed form to even deflect bullets, as done against Halshot. She showed to even have a high amount of skill in unarmed combat, using several kicks to knock Card and Winchester and his team back several times, even using her hands at brief moments. Strength Pyrrha was physically strong, as she was seen to punch through grown tree trunks with her shield without any change in her posture or stance. However, in these sorts of instances, she may be using her control over polarity to cause the shield to move with more force. Her strength was also displayed when she used her shield as a launch platform to help Nora launch higher into the air and jumping while doing so, an action that was also done without any visible alterations to her stance when Nora utilized a grenade as propellant off the shield. Aura Shown in The Emerald Forest, Pyrrha demonstrated the ability to unlock another person's aura. She did this for John, whose aura had been unknown to him. She was visibly tired after unlocking it, possibly either due to the sheer amount of aura that she commented John had, or the nature of the ability itself. Semblance Her semblance was polarity, which allowed her to control metal via magnetism. She used this ability on her own weapons and could use it on opponents' weapons, as well, such as when she moved Mercury Black's boot away from her during a spar to prevent him from landing a hit on her. In most combat situations, Pyrrha did not go out of her way to broadcast her semblance's abilities. Instead, she used it only to make very subtle changes of movement for her own weapons and sometimes her opponent's weapon to affect the course of a battle. This gave her the psychological edge of appearing to be invincible in the eyes of most people. Adam Taurus Powers and Abilities Adam was adept in swordsmanship, quickly cutting through Adlesian Knight 130s with ease. He had a preference towards the usage of Iido, a method in Japanese sword fighting that involves quickly unsheathing for a rapid attack and then sheathing again. Adam proved to be adept in unarmed combat, 
utilizing kicks and grabs in addition to his swordsmanship. Furthermore, Adam's speed is shown to enable him to deflect numerous bullets in rapid succession with Wilden Blush. Adam appeared to have advanced endurance, showing no signs of fatigue during an extended battle. He was also skilled at shooting his blade and hurling it as a saw-like attack. Weapon Wilt and Blush are Adam Taurus's weapons of choice. Wilt is a red sword and Blush is a rifle that also functions as a scabbard. Semblance With his semblance, Moon Slice, Adam was able to absorb or block the energy from an enemy attack and re-emit it again in powerful red energy strikes. However, he could only do this with his weapon, as shown in his fight with Blake and Yang. This enabled him to avoid taking damage directly during absorption, but left him highly vulnerable if he was disarmed. Leadership Aside from his combat abilities, Adam was also an assertive and charismatic leader. Sienna even described him as a symbol for many in the White Fang Inn, Dread in the Air. In Breach, he assured Cinder's faction that the White Fang will listen to him despite the prior events, and following the fall of Beacon, Adam was able to gain enough support from many branches of the White Fang, including Sienna's personal bodyguards, to help him overthrow her and become the High Leader himself. However, his leadership abilities were shown to be progressively compromised by his increasingly unstable personality, driving away any and all past and potential future allies. Intelligence Adam was very intelligent despite his aggressive personality, as he repeatedly proved himself to be very quick thinking and a skilled manipulator, best shown of his takeover of the White Fang. As a leader, Adam displayed an excellent tactical acumen, planning the White Fang's bail operations, and successfully executed a political takeover of the White Fang. Adam was also capable with psychological warfare, skillfully taunting Blake and Yang in all of his engagements with the two. Even at the height of his obsession with Blake, Adam retained his quick thinking. Weaknesses In light of all of his strength, power, cunning and manipulation, Adam was far from unstoppable. His over-reliance on his sword to fight and channel his semblance caused him to become practically helpless without it in his final duel with Blake and Yang. Adam's most obvious weakness is his emotional instability. His one-track need to enact his vengeance on those whom he felt wronged him often caused him to lash out with either physical or emotional violence, driving others away. So yeah, this is will be a very interesting matchup. We they both are really good as swordsmen in their own right. Pyrrha is a hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter mixing with her weapons. Adam is also a swordsman but on armed combat but just only kicking and punching while using a sword. But one thing they had different in common, there's two things they have different in common, that is, Pyrrha doesn't have a weakness, but Adam does. Adam's weakness is his, well, his personality and his, how, you know, his emotion. And also, when he's being disarmed, he is unbeatable. Well, not unbeatable, he's helpless. Because they actually made Adam dirty. And the fight will be very interesting, though. And Adam's semblance will actually will be kind of be useful against Pyrrha because, you know, making him a lot stronger to absorb much damage and to shoot all the damage the, that he absorbed to right back to his opponents. Pyrrha, on the other hand, will use her semblance against metal, and the only metal that is, is, well, his sword and his uh, gun. They actually are made of metal. So, I think Pyrrha actually will disarm Adam and pretty much defeating pretty much defeating um Adam but they both are pretty fast opponents because if you see the animation and you guys see them in action in the actual show you can tell they're actually a lot faster in their own rights and and if and the thing is pure strength is a lot more stronger than Adam's because again her strength is far more uh far more uh higher than Adam's in my opinion so, who I believe will actually win? Well, in my personal opinion, the winner of this matchup is Pierre Nikos. And, because, again, she's also, again, if she disarmed Adam, Adam would be helpless. And, and also, Adam's, Adam's intelligence will actually won't work on Pierre because them two never interact before. So, they actually do not know each other. So, Adam cannot... Well, uh, do his uh, intelligence on Pyrrha because 
Pierre is dead, and Adam never fought any team, the other team members of Team Jennifer. So, that will not be helpful for this matchup. And, yeah, it's, that's, his intelligence won't do anything. His leadership will actually won't do anything in this matchup. The only thing he could try is trying to take out this woman that he doesn't know. But he will actually still get defeated by Pyrrha by being disarmed by, you know, Pyrrha using her semblance. So, again, in my personal opinion, the winner of this matchup is Pyrrha Nikos. So, anyway, guys, that is just my personal opinion about who I believe will win. Do you think that Adam Torres should have won this matchup? Or you guys agree that Pyrrha Nikos is the victor of this matchup? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Link in the video will be down below in the description box. Go see the, the fan-made animation of Pyrrha versus Adam. Itself, link in the video will be down below in the description box. Go see the original video for yourself. And links to my GoFundMe page will also be down below in the description box. So you guys know the drill by the donation and support, etc. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Neil before Shadow Critias, I'll see you guys later.